Hey everybody, what's up? Andy here. And today I want to talk to you about what I think are the absolute best products to protect your computer, your personal information, and your overall cyber security. So I'll be walking you through my all-time favorite digital security products, along with why these things are so important in the first place. These are what I use and what I recommend based on their effectiveness to all my friends and family. So today I'll be talking about antivirus, VPNs, password managers, cloud backups, email, data removal services, and parental control apps. Also, I put timestamps in the description area for all of the product types. So feel free to use those and go straight to wherever the information you're looking for. Plus, I'll link to more information about every product, including any discounts uh, on these that uh, I'll get for you guys down in the description below. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, first up is your antivirus software. And if you can only get one cybersecurity product, then for most people, I'd recommend antivirus software. Basically, good antivirus uh, protects your computer against malware and regularly scans your system to flush out any hidden malware files. Uh, now, what is malware and why is it something that you don't want on your computer? Well, Malware is kind of a, a blanket term for viruses and any kind of destructive program, file or code that tries to worm its way into your computer with the end goal of infecting your system to get access to personal information, which can then lead to your accounts getting hacked or even uh, extortion. And then in the process of that, infection. These files or codes can create a whole host of problems. For example, it can affect your computer's performance to the point where your computer feels like it's working at a fraction of the speed it used to. Now, because malware can be one of the most destructive issues for anyone who spends time online, it's important to get the best antivirus software. So my favorite antivirus program, the one I always recommend, is Bitdefender. Now, Bitdefender is fantastic because not only is it incredible at protecting your computer from malware, but it's also really easy to use. And on top of that, it's actually quite affordable. And so Bitdefender is a fantastic shield against malware. It's not only been a, a lifesaver for me personally, but there are multiple independent labs that have tested Bitdefender and given it the highest rating. For example, researchers at the AV Institute performed a series of tests on Bitdefender and its major competitors like McAfee and Norton and found that Bitdefender consistently outperformed its competitors. So some of its features include a quick scan, full system scan, and vulnerability checks. So the platform not only sees if malware is on your computer, but it also finds vulnerabilities in your computer system in order to strengthen your computer security. And it's actually offers helpful security features like advanced threat defense, online threat protection, and ransomware remediation. So as an example, ransomware remediation backs up your files at the first hint of ran ransomware activities and then restores them when the threat is passed. So you know that none of your information has been compromised. So in my experience, Bitdefender scans have done the best job of clearing out any malware in my system. And as a result, I noticed that the biggest improvements in my computer's performance. And then on top of that, I really like that the anti-theft protection works on Windows and Mac computers because some of their competitors only have the features for mobile users. So the good news is that whether you're on a Mac or a PC, uh, uh, Bitdefender is equally impressive. And so if you can only add one thing to your digital security arsenal for most people, I'd recommend getting a top of the line antivirus software like Bitdefender. And then next up, I would say that in addition to antivirus software, VPNs are my next favorite tool to use for cybersecurity. Now, why do I say that? Well, anytime you use the internet, other entities, whether it's Google, Facebook, or the government, are collecting information on where you go and what you do. So your online activity isn't actually that private. 
and it can also lead to some vulnerabilities and exposure to potential data leaks. And so that's where VPNs come in. Now, VPNs are virtual private networks and a great tool to encrypt your data and protect your IP address whenever you connect to the internet. It gives you complete anonymity as you move through the digital world because it dis disguises your information by routing it through servers across the globe. And so VPNs make it so that your browsing or whatever you're doing online stays your business. Plus, a good VPN will even allow you to use them with streaming platforms like Disney Plus or Netflix without noticeable drops in your streaming speeds. And so the VPN I like to use most is NordVPN. While there are a few others I would trust, Nord continues to be my favorite because of the combination of how reliable, effective, and easy to use it is. So for a quick overview, NordVPN has more than 5,100 servers in 60 countries and allows users to secure up to six devices simultaneously per subscription. Plus, it natively uh, is compatible with most devices, including everything from computers and tablets, streaming sticks and routers, so you're protected across all your devices. Also, NordVPN is incredibly fast, especially if you use Nord Links feature, so you'll never notice a dip in speed when you're streaming or gaming. So what makes Nord stand out to me from other VPNs is that I find Nord to be the most proactive when it comes to making sure that they are providing the best possible privacy protection. For example, NordVPN has a really transparent privacy policy. They don't collect any user data and they have plenty of third-party independent audits to prove it. And this policy held up in 2018 when a server in Finland was compromised. Basically because Nord doesn't keep any logs, no user credentials were exposed. Plus, Nord ended the contract with the company overseeing the servers. They also immediately held an audit to find out if there were any other potential weaknesses in their server infrastructure to fix. Well, Nord hasn't had any issues since then, and they conducted regular independent audits to keep it that way. So their active, ongoing commitment to their users' privacy really makes Nord stand out from its competitors. So whether you're looking to keep your online activity completely private or whether you want to take advantage of using their servers across the globe, NordVPN absolutely continues to be my top pick. So after VPNs, the next security tool I'd recommend is the password manager. And I love a good password manager because, I mean, I think we all know that in theory, we should have a different password for each online account. But in practice, it can be so much easier to just use the same one that you've used for the past five years. I get it. But it makes all of your accounts a lot more vulnerable. And I think we all know this. So that's where a good password manager comes in. Basically, they help you track and manage all your different usernames and passwords and keep them secure. So you can have strong passwords without having to think about it. And so after trying several different ones, my favorite password manager is RoboForm. I love that it's super secure, no nonsense password manager. For example, it uses 256 AES encryption, which is, you know, kind of the gold standard of encryption. And I really like that all the RoboForm data is encrypted and decrypted locally and never on servers. Plus the website interface, mobile app, and browser extensions were all redesigned uh, recently. So it's, it's much more user-friendly now. And on top of that, its paid plan lets you sync all your passwords across devices, which is super handy. So if you prioritize ease of use and userability over abundance of features, then I think RoboForm is the ideal choice, and especially for anyone using a password manager for the first time. Now, these first three products I've recommended so far represent what I consider to be the most essential tools for staying safe and protected online. So definitely start with either one or more of these first three security tools. While the rest of these tools are great, I don't consider them to be essential. 
And it will depend on your particular situation whether some of these may have even be useful or not. So next up, I want to talk about my favorite cloud backup for online storage. Just a, a bit of background, cloud backups are online storage systems designed to help users back up their data from all their devices and store it in a single account. For example, you can use them to back up and store all your photos, videos, documents from, the, from your phone, tablet, and computer all in one account. And this can be really important. I mean, if I lost my phone today and uh, I didn't use a cloud backup, all of the photos would be lost. So my favorite cloud backup to use is iDrive. I use it to make sure that I never lose any document, photos, or files on any of my devices. And iDrive is an incredible cloud backup. It's easy to use with a ton of added features along with its great storage plan. So iDrive provides a ton of storage, even in its most basic plan. I mean, I think I, I can get it to store something like 30 different versions of your file and you can use it on as many devices as you want. Plus it has a ton of great features. For example, they have a, uh, the ability to create full disk images in case you need to rebuild a computer from scratch, which is awesome. Now, because there are so many features, the more premium plans may have uh, may not be necessary for everyone, but iDrive has several different tiers for their plan. So you have plenty of options, which I really like because you can pick which plan works for you or your family. Okay, so moving on, my next recommendation is uh, for the best secure email provider. And well, I don't think I have to explain what email is, but I do want to quickly distinguish between Google or Yahoo and a secure email platform. Basically, Gmail or Yahoo don't cost any money, but when you use them, you agree to let them harvest your data for targeting advertising in exchange for their services. Plus, governments are increasingly using the information from these public emails to create profiles on users, which is potentially dangerous depending on your country's political system. So if you don't like the idea of giving uh, all your personal information to a mass global conglomerate, then a secure email provider could be just what you're looking for. And for that, I love using the highly recommended ProtonMail. So ProtonMail is a great email platform that provides secure private email addresses with an easy to navigate modern interface. And security wise, ProtonMail has end to end encryption for users' email and contact information to make sure that your communications are truly secure. Also, it has a lot of added features like auto responses, custom spam filters, and the ability to manage multiple email addresses under one account. And I just really like the dashboard. It's designed well and it's super easy to use. Now, I should mention there is a daily cap on messages if you have a personal account, but it's pretty impressive. So unless you're, you're sending a thousand emails per day, you should be fine. So I've never been close to hitting the daily cap, but there is a professional account if you want truly unlimited messages. Also, I'm curious if you already use a secure email provider. Let me know which one you like using most in the comments below. Now, so far I've talked uh, a lot about the kinds of products that help keep your personal data private but there's a good chance that there's a significant amount of your personal information uh, is already out there on the internet. So how do you protect your information if it's already out there? And that brings me to my next pick, which is my absolute favorite data removal to, uh, service, DataSeal. So DataSeal.io is a data removal and opt-out service. And what does that mean? <laughs> well, think about the yellow pages or the white pages and all of those people, directories that, that collect your name, address, phone number, and more. These are called data brokers. And there are hundreds of data brokers. These sites that collect the information and sell it to anyone. But what a lot of people don't know is that you can actually opt out of these services and remove your personal information so that no one can find and use your data for nefarious purposes. Now on your own, it would be really difficult and super 
time consuming to find each and every one of these sites and opt out to remove your data. But the good news is that Data Seal will do all of that for you. I mean, it will go through every single data broker and opt out of the sites, essentially removing your personal information. So that way, even if someone does discover your real name on the internet, they won't be able to get your phone number and address to harass you or to use your information in any way. And so, when I ran some tests, Data Seal found more of these sites than its competitors, which really impressed me. Plus, you can set your account to rescan all of the data brokers twice a week for peace of mind. And so, if you're looking for that peace of mind and if you want to keep your information off these sites, then go Data Seal uh, uh, is definitely the way to go. And then, last but not least on my list are parental control apps. And for parental control apps, I really like Bark. Now, if you haven't used one before, parental control apps basically help parents control t screen time and access to certain sites so that kids don't get into something that they shouldn't or watch TV on their iPads until three o'clock in the morning. So Bark is one of the top parental controls out there and it lets users monitor uh, screen time and site access across something like 30 different apps. Plus, parents can get texts or email alerts if someone attempts to access something blocked by the parental controls. Also, the thing I like most about Bark is its social media monitoring. It uses AI algorithms to screen social media, texts, and emails for a whole host of things from cyberbullying to violence or online predators. So, for example, you could get an alert anytime someone sends your kid a text, Snapchat or Instagram post that encourages self-harm or violence. So it's a great way to protect your kid and rest easy knowing that they're not getting exposed to something that they shouldn't. Now, I will say that the initial install on iOS devices is a bit tricky. So that takes a few minutes. But other than that, it's pretty awesome. And a couple of minutes of setup is well worth the peace of mind and additional security when it comes to keeping your family safe. And so that wraps up my top cybersecurity product recommendations. I appreciate you taking the time to learn more about protecting your privacy and staying safe online. If you are interested in any of the products I mentioned, I'll include links in the description along with the best deals and discounts I can get for you guys included in those links as well. Also, if you have any additional questions, please don't hesitate to ask down in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a thumbs up as it always makes my day. And if you're a new subscriber to this channel, please welcome to our cyber family. We look forward to getting to know you in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.